so as you know uh, in a chromosome or in the chromatin the dna molecule is wound around the proteins which are histone proteins so uh, in the chromatin most abundant type of proteins which are present they are histones there are nine types of histone molecules and they include uh, two molecule each of h2a histone h2b histone h3 histone h4 histone and one molecule of h1 so these are nine molecules which are present in a single nucleosome and actually these nine molecules these nine molecules of histones fall in five major classes and these five major classes are h1 h2 a h2 b h3 and h4 so these five types of histones are present in the chromatin and these five types of proteins which are uh, nine in number they are present in a single nucleosome a typical human cell contains about 60 million copies of each kind of histones so 60 million copies of each histone h2a h2b h3 h4 h1 uh, all the these are present in a typical human cell here you can see this is the histones and this is actually a nucleosome and in this nucleosome there are nine molecules of histones here you can see h2a h2a these two are h2a these two one and one these two are h2b these two molecules are of h3 and two molecules of h4 so these eight histone molecules they are present inside the nucleosome and h1 is present on the upper surface of this nucleosome that is a sort of uh, linker histone so uh, these two nucleosomes they are linked together through this linker dna so this dna links these histones so whole chromatin uh, consists of number of such histone molecules histone uh, molecules uh, wrapped by a dna molecule so this is uh, the organization of chromatin in the eukaryotic chromosome all the histones have a high percentage of arginine and lysine both these amino acids arginine and lysine are positively charged amino acids so all the histones have high uh, proportion of uh, these two positively charged amino acids but the lysine to arginine ratio in each type of histone that is uh, variable so this variation uh, is uh, uh, important so the positively charged side chains of uh, these amino acids that is lysine and arginine they enable the histones to bind to the negatively charged phosphate groups of the dna you know in the dna molecule only phosphate groups are negatively charged so uh, if the proteins or histones are positively charged and the uh, phosphate groups of the dna are negatively charged so they both attract each other and they will uh, bind Uh, so the uh, electrostatic attraction between these positively charged histone molecules and the negatively charged dna molecule uh, uh, this is uh, the important stabilizing force in the chromatin 